okay y'all here is another grocery haul and meal plan i just went to kroger so far i was really hoping i could find everything and they were out of a lot of stuff um, that i needed <laughs> so i guess i'm gonna have to run either to like another kroger that's close or run to walmart which i really don't want to run to walmart um so i still have stuff that i need to get for the week um recipe wise or whatever um so I was, I was so upset because it's like really early in the morning. It's like 8, 8, 8.30 for me. You know, that's early for me to get up on a weekend and go to the grocery. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll get up early. There'll be no crowd. They're, you know, they'll be stocked. No, they weren't. I would, they, were, they were out of like nine things I needed on my grocery list. I was so upset. So here's what I did get before... Um, coupons, it was 202 and some change. And so after coupons, it was $118.57. So I did super, super good. Um, this week I bought some extra stuff to put in the freezer. Um, I looked up and found hamburger meat <laughs> um, for a really good price. Um, and so I've got extras for $118. So it's really good. Um, I did have two coupon, two, blah, blah, two coupons on here, a 10 off of a hundred and then a five off of 50. Um, and those we got when we moved from the post office. So when I, um, went and changed our address to here through the post office, they gave us two Kroger coupons. So that was really nice of them. Um, so we used those that this go around because I kept forgetting about them <laughs> so I finally used those so let me show you what we got and I will on the sale stuff I'll try to tell you um the breakdown on the sale stuff as well so let's see we got I'll go ahead and start in the back so they're um pork Boston butts were on sale this week for a dollar forty nine a pound, I know this looks so gross, um, but they were a dollar forty nine a pound, and so I got this for twelve. I know it says right here, twelve sixty nine. And so what I did is I just had them cut it um, in half. And if you did not know that, you can have Kroger will cut your you know meats, shave whatever like you need stuff that they can do back there. Um, it's all free. So if you need something cut, just go and ask them and they'll do it. So this was one whole um, Boston butt. So I had him cut cut it in half. And then I had him cut half of it into um, shoulder. We call it shoulder around here. A lot of people call it um, pork steaks. Um, but we've always called it shoulder. So um, we've got quite a few pieces of shoulder here. I can't actually... There's maybe four or five, so um, that will be a meal. We just won't have leftovers, um, which is fine. And then there's still a good, good size Boston butt under there. Um, so he said he wants to smoke that. So we got two meals for twelve sixty nine. Really good deal. The Red Baron pizzas this week were on sale for two ninety nine, which was a really good deal. So I picked up the um, pepperoni and then a cheese. We really like the thin and crispy. Those are the ones, um, or the classic. I think actually Luke likes the classic, and I picked up the wrong one, <laughs> um, but he'll be fine. So those were two ninety nine a piece. So I've got two to pop in the freezer. The cereal on um, this week, which when I post this video on Wednesday, the sales will be over. So I will try to um, post something real quick on Instagram. Um, so you all, if you do have, follow me on Instagram, then you were able to see the sales. So you can go check it out. Um, and so these are the large size boxes. These were on sale for buy one, get one free at, let's see, I think it was $4.99. Let me see. Cereal, cereal. Okay, here it is. Four nineteen. Sorry. So four nineteen. I paid four nineteen for both of these since they were buy one get one free, and I had a dollar off coupon, so it made them three nineteen for both boxes. So y'all know I do not like spending a lot of money on cereal. We go through it so fast. I actually went to um, Dollar Tree 
yesterday to try to find some because normally I can normally I have a really good um, look at Dollar Tree finding full boxes of cereal and they did not have any um, so I knew I needed to pick these up since they were on sale so um, I'll have the breakdown price of that on the screen um, but these are huge boxes of cereal so Winston's gonna be so excited <laughs> Um, and then I got two of the um, flour tortillas. Those are always 99 cents at ours. And we really like that, um, The this brand. Uh, and we've got a couple recipes that call for tortillas. So I went ahead and picked up two. Um, I got two things of the um, crescent sheet, the dough sheets. I really like these. So I've got a recipe that I need for those. And then my Kroger, one of the things they were out of was like the, you know, y'all know how I use the, um, like the dry pizza crust to make the dough, you know, add the water or whatever. They were completely out of those. So I picked up two of the Pillsbury pizza crust and these are the thin and crispy. Um, and so I will be, I'll just use those this week, which is fine. Um, we're actually doing like deep dish pizzas. So this will work perfect to put in the pie pan. Um, got a big thing of yogurt. They, um, didn't have like the little ones that I had been, that I had been using to take to work. So, which this is fine. So I'll just scoop some out and, um, in a container and take it to work with me. Got some sour cream. This was on sale for 89 cents. The cheese was on sale for $1.49 a pack. Still a really good price. So we got pizza blend and mozzarella for the, um, deep dish pizzas. We, we still have enough cheese of every other kind, and um, we just needed something for the pizzas. Um, since they were on sale, I picked up the Colby Jack and the Monterey Jack um, block for cubing up for me to take to lunch. Oh man, I just realized I'm out of wheat thins. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pick up wheat thins, um, but they were out of the already cubed ones, um, and so I just picked these up to have any to cube myself, which is fine with me. Um, the butter was on sale for $2.99. I'm telling y'all, they had some really good deals this week. Um, so I just picked up one. Um, I think we're gonna run to Sam's and get some stuff from Sam's. And so of course it's cheaper at Sam's. So we'll, we might pick up some butter at Sam's. Um, there was no limit on the hamburger meat. So I picked up four for us. Um, if you follow me for a while, you know that this is a three pound log and we always cut it in half. We always cook a pound and a half per meal. Um, or if we do taco meat or like a meatloaf, we do two pounds. Um, you might think that sounds a lot um, if you have, like if you're new, um, but since it is just two adults and a child. But now that I'm back to work, um, I take leftovers and then my husband takes leftovers as well. So we always try to cook a larger amount where we have enough to take leftovers where we don't have to spend a fortune either eating out or um, buying extra stuff for lunches. Um, I do sometimes just cause I like sandwiches, like light stuff to take to work. Um, so you'll see like more lunch meat and sandwich meat and stuff through um, throughout the new hauls coming up. Um, but if it's something really, really good, um, then I'm fine with taking leftovers because I can heat it up at work. And so anyways, these were on sale. Y'all know that I, we have been struggling with meat prices. That's just part of it right now are everywhere. Um, and so I looked up and found these for $8.99 for three pounds. So that's why we got four. <laughs> Let's see. I picked up some fajita seasoning. And then I got two more taco seasoning. I could not remember how many I had, so I just went and picked up two. They're all they're only 39 cents a piece, so it's not a huge deal to grab them. Got two things of diced ham. We need um, some for a recipe. Actually, we need we got two recipes with ham. Um, so I went ahead and just picked up two, which Luke likes or Winston likes to snack on this anyways. So I could just open up the package and he could eat some. Um, Kroger was also out of their Kroger brand pepperonis, and so I got these. Um, they were $4.99 a pack, but they were on sale for buy one, get one free. Um, so I just went ahead and did that, um, since the Kroger brand, you know, was, was not there. Uh, pesto, I meant to pick this up last week, and I could not find it anywhere in Kroger, or not Kroger, Walmart, they were completely out. 
So I passed by it and see it, seen it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's not on the meal plan this week, but I know it's here. So I got that. Got some more soy sauce. We were about out of soy sauce. Picked up some Cajun seasoning. We were out of Cajun seasoning. Um, I found these on Markdown um, artichoke hearts. I like to do spinach and artichoke dip. Um, and so sometimes I just want it like randomly. And so I kind of try to keep everything here. Um, and so I looked up and found these for $1.29. And they're originally $2.50. We needed this um, extension cord over here um, where my coffee bar is. Excuse all the Legos. <laughs> Um, but this is the only plug, and so it, as you can tell, it stretches, and we have to turn it all weird. So I got this extension cord um, where we can plug it in and run it back behind where it will look normal. <laughs> um, so we got that. That was eight ninety nine. Got some bread, y'all. We have been loving, loving this market and meal bread lately. Um, we have never tried the potato, so we got. I got two of those. They were on sale for 99 cents. So I'll put those in the freezer. This white one is our absolute favorite. We've had like the wheat, the whole grain, whatever. We like all of them, but this is our all time favorite as of right now. Um, so I picked that up for this week and it was on sale for $1.99. It is normally like two something. Got some bacon. Um, so we have a weird issue with buying the bacon bits from Kroger, like the Kroger brand ones, every time we buy a bag and we use it, there's like some kind of weird, like metal-y like taste, or like I'll get like a, a really sharp bite and it's like I bit into it, like a little metal, and so I just couldn't do that. <laughs> we have not been buying those anymore, um, and so I needed some bacon for a quick recipe. So I just picked this up so that way it's easy, already ready, um, and I just have to, you know, cook it, heat it up, and then it's ready to go. I don't remember how much that was, but this stuff's always so expensive. We got two things of our favorite, favorite, favorite cauliflower mac and cheese. The cake mixes were on sale for four for five dollars. So I needed two of the strawberry cake mixes for an upcoming recipe video that y'all will be seeing. I think it's July 15th and it's a collab so y'all stay in tune for that so I needed those and so since they were um four for five I went ahead and just picked up two more a yellow and a devil foods y'all know I go through cake mixes so that's not a waste um we just got almond milk this week because we pretty much still have like a whole gallon we're we're gone through the day now Winston's not here to drink milk so um because he gets all that at school so we still pretty much have a full gallon. So we just bought the almond milk. We got one of our favorite, favorite little watermelons. We love these. We got one green pepper and got some more bread. Um, I did not know that they had um, the hamburger buns in this brand. In this brand. So I picked those up and they were on sale for 99 cents. So I will probably change one of the meals on the menu this week so that way we can use these or I'll just put them in the freezer. Found these on sale. We love the, this non bread. So, so good. So I picked those up. There's just two in there and these are the whole grain ones. And then um, Luke needed some drinks for work so he just told me to pick him up a pack of 24 water and he will take that to work and put it in his fridge. Um, do, 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 do. think that is everything. Oh, wait. So this was something that I found on the in the clearance aisle. Of course, it's Easter leftover stuff from Easter. They have so much leftover Easter stuff since nobody did anything for Easter, you know? Like, we were all on quarantine. <laughs> um, and so these were all on sale for a dollar. It said they were $4 originally, which there was there would be no way in heck I would pay $4 for these a piece. Um, so they had some that had like letters on them. They were monogrammed, but I could not find an A. So, cause I was going to do D E A N and they had no A whatsoever. So I just picked up the four that didn't have anything on it and I'll just put it on myself. So I thought, but I thought that would be cute Easter decoration and have Dean on it. So, so stinking cute. But that is everything. Um, from here, like I said, I do have to run to another store and pick up some other things. 
They were out of zucchini and squash. They were out of corn. They were out of, um, I wanted my chai tea for in the mornings for work. They were out of heavy cream. They were out of, there's something else. It was like the most random stuff like that they should normally have. And they were completely out of. So I got to run and get that. And then if we do go to Sam's, I will add it into this grocery haul as well. But this is it so far. Okay, so I didn't end up going to Sam's. And I didn't end up going to um, the other store to get the rest of the stuff. We're just going to adjust the menu and just get through the week without it. Um, and so here is the meal plan. The glare on this is like so bad. Let's see if I can do it over here. Okay, that's better. So we've got um, chicken fajitas. Um, we are hoping that Luke can do these on the flat top. There is a big chance of rain most of the week. So we are really hoping to do those. If not, then I can just do them inside. Um, right now is a Sunday and I'm, this is actually in the oven. This French onion bake, um, crescent bake. I got this recipe idea from the Browse Bunch. Um, Courtney made this on one of her What's For Dinners. Um, and I'll have that recipe, um, What I'll have that What's For Dinner listed in the description box for y'all. So you can go check her out if you have never heard of her before. We're going to do some deep dish pizzas. Um, Shauna's beef stroganoff, I've still not got the chance to make it. Um, and so I um, got it on the meal plan again. And then we got um, about that Boston butt, like you've seen. So we're gonna do some shoulder. And then my plan was to do corn on the cob. They had no corn on the corn on the cob at Kroger. So we're just gonna change that and do some other veggie. Um, my grandma actually just brought us a bunch of garden squash. Um, so I'll probably do squash and something else with that. And then we're gonna do some general general so general so's chicken um with some rice and we'll probably have broccoli normally we normally do like broccoli with any asian dishes so we'll probably do broccoli and then um i've got a couple pork loins in the freezer that um need to be used so i'm going to pull one of them out and do some pork carnitas and we'll probably do like the spanish rice for that but that is the game plan for this coming week we've got a full week of meals super excited about it um so that is it y'all i cannot wait for this french onion bake to get out of the oven actually i'll show you you'll have a little preview before the dean dinner comes out but it looks so good so stinking good so i did tweak it a little bit um from her recipe but i'll just i'll have hers linked in the search box so you can see that um, but it smells good and I'm so excited. So that is it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.